love something, we always strive to become better than we are. When we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. Today, we have with us people who love this institute, who have been groomed here, who were at your place once and they want to make things the best by helping us become better. I, Rameli De Barman and I, Parito Shaudhary, welcome you all on the Alumni Day. Before we begin, I would like to read a mail from the archive. Dear Sir, this is probably my first mail to you. In fact, the first once since the day I have joined IIEBM. I wanted to share lots of things with you. Hence, this mail is going to be pretty long, so I request you to be generous enough and read the entire mail. Well, IIEBM has transformed lives of many. One is mine. It's been two years and many of us, including me, can see a big chance change in ourselves. From a young brat to a more focused professional ready to face the corporate world. Although there have been few problems right from the first day of college between management and students on various issues, but at the end, if you think you have got the value addition you wanted to see in yourself, you don't have any regrets. You know, sir, there are few people in front of whom I still feel nervous while speaking, not to mention one is you, and because of which I many a time speak wrong English, like postponed instead of postponed. I do not claim to be the best speaker of the language, but I am a very good communicator. I did commit a few mistakes in the tasks you gave me in college, but now I can assure you that I will not let down my director and my college. My alma mater in the organization I will work with. This reminds me to share something else with you. It takes me immense pleasure to tell you that I have got placed in Amdocs Development Center India Private Limited as an admin associate with a salary package of 3 lakhs per annum. Now, I am falling short of words in expressing myself. So I will stop here. Just wanted to thank for everything and all the efforts you made in order to bring the best out of us. Thanks and regards, Himan Shubhat. Let's start the day by welcoming our first guest, our almoners, Mr. Himan Shubhat. Sir, may I have your permission to begin? Thank you. Sir has completed his graduation in commerce. He pursued his PGDBM HR from Indus Business School and Masters in Marketing Management from Pune University. He is currently working as an HR Administrative Assistant with Amdocs, a multinational company which develops software for IT and telecom companies. He is also a dance enthusiast and a certified Zumba fitness trainer. Now, I would request Sir to kindly address the batch. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, so slides are supposed to end with this, right? The PP is supposed to end with this. Okay. All right. Okay. So, although we have got the introduction, okay. So, like you know. Five years back, I was sitting there, okay, and I was watching our seniors to, you know, come here and speaking to us on different things. I used to think that, you know, that I just hope I get a chance to, you know, come and talk to people of, you know, the junior batch. So luckily, I'm here. So thank you, sir. <laughs> so that is why we have the first slide as thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's have discussion, okay? 
let's not have a s session. I don't want me to bombard you guys with a lot of data, and you're sitting and thinking, "Ikab khatam karega yar," right? So let's have a discussion, and let's keep it a little informal, okay? Like the way you sit at a chai tapri, you talk to your friends about anything you want, okay? So let's have a discussion in that way. So, okay. So before we start with me. Let's talk about you guys. Okay, 2015-17 batch, 16 batch, right? This is 16 batch. Yes, sir. Okay, finally I heard. Great. Uh, so I just want to know, like, we ha all are freshers, right? Here. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, great. And how many people are from uh, commerce background? Uh, great. Science. Arts, anything else? Perfect, sorry, I missed it. All right, and people must be from different parts of country, yes. right? North India? Straight? Okay, South? South India? West? East? This is a batch size of 100 people, sir. 100. But I've seen only 60%. So the remaining ones are from some other place out of India, no? OK, anyways, see the point I was talking about this whole thing is, you know the best advantage of being in IBM is like, you know, you get to meet people from different backgrounds, OK? Different cultural backgrounds, different <coughs> studies background. and if like we have such a huge variety in our college and that is where we learn the most okay <coughs> like if i have to talk about my batch we have people from every part of the country okay right from jammu kashmir you go to up you go to uttaranchal you go to delhi punjab calcutta you could come to maharashtra you go to south india so we have you know people from everywhere so <coughs> the thing is they just see people around you they are going to be your best teachers for next two years, okay? It's not going to be your books. Of course, lectures, professors will be there, okay? But they are going to be your biggest teachers. Because, you know, <coughs> MBA is not something that, which can be spoon food to you, spoon feeding, okay? That is not possible. It is like you evolve over a period of time, okay? So the main learning would be when you will be in, in your hostel, you will be having your clashes with each other, each other, attitude clashes. And like since everybody is from different, everybody has different way of doing things, okay? So, good. Uh, okay. So, we can talk about me. All right. So, my name is Imanchu, but okay. I am from 9-11 batch. And I am working <coughs> with a company called Docs. Again, as it was already informed by our uh, student that it mainly works into IT, telecom. It's an Israel-based company. Okay. Anybody heard of Fandox by any chance? Ever? Great. Engineer. So it's basically engineer's company. We are working as a support functions. So it's like a company of 7,000 plus people. Okay. And... Uh, we are from support function, so we have typically a smaller team, like 60 to 80 people. So Amdocs develops software applications for various companies, various organizations across the globe. So we have our presence everywhere. India happens to be now uh, the main development center for the company. And uh, the maximum number of people are in India, although the company is from Israel. Okay, We have around seven to 8,000 people. Okay. So, <coughs> and the softwares are pretty expensive, so we don't have much clients in India. Mostly it's in Europe, US, and uh, South America, North America. Okay. So, what is my role? I am as a, I work as a HR admin assistant there. Okay. My job, like we are assigned different teams, right? Like we have testing teams, we have development teams, we have delivery teams, like 
see i'm talking mo mostly on the layman terms okay like even if you're not an engineer you will be able to understand what i'm saying right testing you understand right testing a software developing a software delivering after support right so we are a team of 40 to 50 hr admins and we are given around a teams of like you know 300 400 500 so my main job is once your recruitment and everything is done people are onboarded okay so taking care of their uh, onboarding okay and i work with different directors to <coughs> you know which project we should put how many people as per project requirements then arranging their <coughs> round tables and all with their managers and anything and everything any questions people have they can come to me anything which they cannot talk to their manager right like right from uh, raising a request for stationery to managing a town hall town hall is a kind of a big gathering of people like this is something okay in our place we call it town hall when we have a speaker who is talking to a big number of people right and uh, mainly i take care of the administrative activities with amdocs okay so it's been a great learning there <coughs> so like that's how i fall into dancing also because we used to do a lot of activities okay so that's what i do okay and uh, if you have any questions you can just shoot okay there is no formal uh, question or session anything you feel like speak okay and you can smile, it's okay. That's what I Okay. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so, this slide. See, I always <coughs> been into dancing. Not professionally trained, but you know, through YouTube videos and all, that's how I used to learn my techniques. Okay. So when we landed up in Pune, like my dad used to hate me for me dancing, okay? And always it used to happen that, you know, I'm studying, I'm studying for the whole day. And the moment I put, uh, put on my earphones and I start doing my dancing, he will enter in the house. And he's like, you know, you just need to, you just want to dance, you don't want to study, you don't want to do anything. So he used to hate me for that. So I finally then, did my entrance exams and everything. I came to Pune and joined IRBM. So I was like, okay, let me keep my dancing thing aside and uh, let's concentrate on my career, okay? Like study HR and blah, 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 get into corporate and all. So, okay, we came, we started with the induction. Every day, big dose of lectures from everyone. It's happening with you guys also, right? Right? Okay, guys, I need participation. Yes, no, maybe, never. Okay, so where was I? Hmm. We started with our induction and everything for a week. Then we got to know that we need to give a presentation. Uh, it's it was a one week presentation time. Okay, so we were asked to give a presentation on anything. It necessarily not be your uh, studies. It can be anything like anything and everything which is socially acceptable and something we can which you can speak in front of your parents okay so people i was so excited after speaking to the speakers i volunteered okay first day i'll go for the presentation so i was like seventh or eighth guy out of 180 180 students 180 170 so i was like okay we yep. are so excited so we went to hostel and uh, that by that time we had not received our laptops and everything okay so <coughs> we had actually two laptops in entire boys hostel i don't know about girls hostel so for boys hostel we had two laptops or all and uh, almost 100 people and out of which 20 or 30 people have to make their presentation on the first day so everybody was looking for laptop bali was one of them <laughs> with the laptop you know bali right bali Chris. Can you have a round of applause for him? <coughs> I'll tell you the reason later. So we were sitting in his room and we were waiting for people to finish. I went to his room at one o'clock. Okay, dude, yaar, 
half an hour. Achha, by the way, everybody understands Hindi, right? Yes. See, although I would be speaking mostly in English, but there are like in between, you know, I, I'll keep pitching Hindi in between. Okay. So, <coughs> so I was waiting there <coughs> for uh, almost one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. <coughs> Finally, I got the laptop at uh, six o'clock. Okay. I started off with my presentation. Something I did, I don't know what. Six to seven, I prepared my presentation. Seven o'clock, I came to my room. Seven to seven thirty, I slept. At eight o'clock, I was here with all red eyes. And I was like so nervous that I don't know what to speak to. And my topic was uh, hip hop culture, like how it is, what are the paths, like how the thing grew over across the globe. Okay, so we came. First guy came, he gave a presentation of time management. And the guy came. Everybody was like, you know, with all formals like you guys are wearing. They used to just come, okay? And okay. Good morning, guys. And this 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 is my topic. And everybody was like sitting, okay. Time management. Yes, we know time management, how to manage time. So that's how it happened with six, seven people. <coughs> and since I had to start my presentation with a uh, with a dance. A small dance because that is also one of the criteria of our presentation. Okay, like how you speaking, how you introduce your presentation, right, and how you are grabbing audience attention. So I was just like you know I was sitting somewhere there with the uh, uh, with a hip hop cap with those bands and you know a proper attire. I was sitting there. So at my when my presentation uh, presentation started, I came from there we were dancing doing something something something. And I came here, and everybody started clapping. I was like, okay, first battle is won. So I, st I started with my presentation <coughs> and everything. So I am, I ended up with getting some 158, 168 points out of 200, which was like in top 20. So I was happy. My batchmates were also like, okay, we have some talent in the batch. Okay. So then I was like, okay, I was thinking to leave dancing and get into this thing. But then it started in another way. Okay. So I kept <coughs> because I come from huh, I came I come from the place called Haridwar. Okay. Haridwar? Anyone? Yes. yes. Okay. So <coughs> there we don't have much exposure to Western styles and other things, okay? For them dancing is only Bollywood and doing classical dancing. And okay. So I used to think, okay, I don't know if I'm doing the right stuff or not. So luckily I came here. So I started with my work, with my studies. I also started uh, doing my research, you know, on different form of dancing, Western styles and all. Slowly, slowly, you know, I started growing up in that direction. And I started uh, performing with the various crews in Pune. Okay. So it was going well. Then again, uh, the college ended. We did farewell and everything, and we joined Amlocks. Now I was like, okay, college ho gaya abhi, time pass. Now it's time for serious business. I was into my job. Okay. So I started working. Like initially I was like, what, what the hell is happening with me? <laughs> you know, so many things were coming to my way, different tasks. And, uh, <coughs> and one of the uneasy thing for me was like, here we call sir and ma'am. Okay. And in general also, if we are meeting someone who is little elder to us, we call them sir or ma'am. My first thing, I cleared my interview and everything. My induction was done. Okay, I was with my manager. She was like 30, 35 years old. And that time I was like uh, 22, 23. So I was like, okay, Sonal ma'am, good morning. Himanshu, don't call me ma'am. So that is, you know, few things which you will see later on when you get into a job. Like calling ma'am, sir, a lot of people, they don't do it. So it was a little awkward for me to you know speak to someone and calling them directly by name so that's what i was not used to okay coming to the point i started working work was going good then uh, i got to know that <coughs> some uh, dance event is happening in amdox i went for it i participated people liked it then there was something else which was happening so one of the unit uh, like one of the business units, like I was talking about testing development teams and all. So one of the testing team director came to me and he was like, okay, Manchu, 
I have heard that you can dance and you can do choreography and all. So if you could, you know, <coughs> be kind enough to train our uh, our people, okay, our uh, employees for some event, okay. So I did that, and uh, we had like four days with us. Actually, one week for which uh, one day I, I had to take the auditions and everything. I had to finalize people, and with four days. I had to make four dance sequences for them, and for the non-dancers, huh? like people who do not know that they have right and left leg, they only know left leg. They can dance in one way. So that was quite a challenge, but then it went nice. Everybody appreciated. Then you know, at that point of time, I was thinking, okay, I think like, and everybody was like, Imanchu, what are you doing in IT industry? You should go and start your own stuff. I was like, okay, let me work on that. So I started again more research, working more on my techniques and everything. So finally, <coughs> just a second, now. Excuse me for my throat. Huh? So then uh, I did a lot of <coughs> other stuff for uh, events and everything. So I was like, okay, I think we can <coughs> get into this field full time maybe. If not now, maybe down the years, like three, four years, after four or five years. Then I got uh, to, <coughs> I got introduced with by, uh, to this program, Zumba Fitness, by one of my friends. I went to his class and I really liked it. I was totally into it. <coughs> by the way, anyone has heard of Zumba Fitness? Fantastic. <coughs> you know what it is? Can somebody share something? Because I want you guys to speak well, please. Yes. What's your name? Uh, so, uh, good morning, sir. My name is Vishal Sonane. Yeah. Uh, I am from Nasik, Maharashtra. Great. And uh, sir, do you remember the <coughs> photographers at your event, the wallpaper you put on your desktop? Yes. So I am one of them. Uh, Yes, sir. Vishal Sonon. Last event was Shwetambari Shetty's. Oh, you have Vishal? Yes, sir. Okay. Great, great. I'm so sorry, man. I think we are connected on Facebook also, yeah. right? Great. Perfect. So you so can connect more with me. Ah, yes. Yeah. Uh, so my question to you is that uh, what is your definition of success? Okay. Okay. See. Uh, okay, I'll answer that. But <laughs> I had asked for uh, oh, if you know about Zumba. Yes. Okay, anything. Okay, let's uh, take that for uh, later. My definition of success is: see, of course, people. Uh, you need to be happy, right, with whatever you are doing. If like, I'll I'll tell you in morning. I have to get up at seven o'clock for my office. Okay. I feel so lazy. I don't feel like getting up. Okay, same thing again and again and again. But when it's my class in the morning batch, I have to get up at five o'clock or five thirty. That time I don't feel, you know, that I do I should I go or not. And for me, to be very precise, success like if I go to my office, okay, I take a meeting with my colleagues, with my managers, with you can sit, you can sit, with my directors, with my managers. After the meeting, nobody comes to me and say thank you, Manchu, for attending this meeting. It doesn't happen, right? But when I take a class, my students, my members, and I get people from all the backgrounds, okay? Different age group, okay, different genders. So after every session, like although these people have been coming to me for months, <coughs> after every class, we finish, we are all in sweat, okay, drenched in sweat. They come to me and they say thank you, okay? And they actually, you can see it in office. Definition of thank you, like people are coming, okay, thank you. And it's like, yes, I'll see you next meeting. Here, it's, it's like you can feel it, okay? So that is uh, because success is a very broad term, okay? We can have two hours lecture on success, okay? So that's a different thing. I, I, I'm sure you don't want that. So for me, it's like these are few small things, okay? If somebody appreciates my work, 
see of course money and everything comes i am not saying that money is not important it is but then you know apart after a certain point of time you know like today if something would be a luxury for you will be a normal thing okay because you know when i joined my company <coughs> you must be knowing the it companies have got very good it infrastructure and everything okay well maintained office posh locations and everything okay initially when you go there you will be like dude this is the place for me right it industry okay i'm very happy i'm getting free meals free coffee free internet and lot of other benefits you're getting cab and everything okay <coughs> and as you spend time okay for me also like for initial 6 months i was like pretty excited okay this is the best thing that has happened to me and i will stay with this company forever till the age of 60 okay so <coughs> all okay but then you know when once you become used to it it's like okay okay i ha- i have okay thank you so much thank you <coughs> so you know everything the you know the materialistic thing which we call like today you might be traveling on a bicycle okay it will be a great thing okay i got a bicycle man i am the happiest man on the earth but that does not stay for a long time right after certain time you will be like i need a bike okay you are traveling on bike then you need a car so what i'm the point of saying all this is you know these thing will keep coming and going but the actual success for me is like if i can make a difference to someone right if i can inspire someone from what i do right so that is the biggest success for me if people come to me and they appreciate my work okay so that is what is you know my su- success definition so that's what like when people message me after my class after my events they remind it was really nice coming to your event i really had a good time because my people most of corporate guys comes in and corporate stress level is there okay you keep sitting you have your arguments discussions everything client is bashing you okay every second day <coughs> so they these guys are so stressed out when they come to my class within 5 minutes my smile comes automatically i don't have to do like for the initial class i would be you know dancing and going to everyone and i will like guys smile 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 like i'm doing with you guys and people are still so serious at the back <laughs> okay so you know they come to my class and they feel so happy so the genuine smile is there okay so that is my definition of success okay it's pretty simple ha coming back to my point who knows about zumba fitness i need participation if you know wrong it's cool yes zumba fitness please so um so my name is supriya singh i am from durg chatisgarh sir it is a kind of dance form uh, zumba fitness zumba is a dance form in which the steps are continuous means without stopping we have to dance and take the steps mm-hmm. mm, yeah. with the music yes Thanks. sounds good clap for her <coughs> at least she spoke okay yes Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Samrat Singh. I am from Kolkata, Chhattisgarh. Hmm. Uh, Zumba is a dance form where uh, you keep moving your legs uh, uh, forward and uh, backward. Uh, That's also. Yeah. That's also. No, lo- not like that. Haan, it's okay. It's uh, I just. Uh, uh, no, no, it's okay. What are you saying? Just not getting the right words. Haan. How to express I, that? I, I got your point. Uh, yeah. I got your point. It's like an a- acro, one uh, acrobat with uh, aerobics. Aerobics. Yes. a bit uh, burns fats and uh, keeps yes, you fit it burns calories okay great see guys i'm again saying i am not a 50 year person i don't look like a 50 year right do i no so you know let's see i am just like you guys only okay let's that, that that's why i said in the uh, beginning that let's have a discussion okay let's talk the way you will be talking to your uh, friends in canteen okay so a little formal one but as compared to that but just talk okay you can speak anything 
it's okay. Sir, you won't mind, right? If they answer, they give a wrong answer. And if they speak incorrect English. <laughs> okay. <coughs> and if you want to express something in Hindi, it's okay. Okay. So, sit, 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 sit. All right. So, I'll not take much of your time. Uh, we have this till what? No, no. Video I'll show. Okay. We have till 10.30, right? Okay. So, all right. So, Zoom, I'll uh, cut it short and I'll quickly tell you what Zumba Fitness is. <coughs> it's a, it's not a dance song. It's a dance based fitness program. It came from Latin America. The name of the uh, country is Colombia. Okay. And it came accidentally into existence. Beto Perez is the person who created this whole uh, fitness thing. Okay. He used to be an aerobics instructor in uh, one of the uh, gym in Colombia. So, and in Latin America, salsa and all these dance forms is like for everyone. Everyone does it. Like in India, we do Ganpati dance, Nagin dance, Safad dance, Nagin dance, and salsa. Okay, everybody knows it. It's in their blood. So, one day this guy came to his batch and he forgot his actual Arabic CD. So, he got his uh, Latin music is already always with them. He took that music and he, you know, uh, <coughs> he did an improvised session with the people, okay? People liked it because it, it's a different kind of format. Like instead of doing the regular workout, they're putting us some dancing also. Slowly, slowly, it started growing in Colombia. <coughs> then this guy went to uh, US and he struggled actually for four years. He used to sleep on the beaches of Miami, okay? And, uh, but then, he went to a class and slowly, you know, it started growing in US. And now it is known as like world's biggest dance based fitness program. Okay. We have almost uh, millions of people across the globe who are following this dance, uh, dance fitness program. Okay. Okay. So I got into Zumba fitness. I really liked it. Okay. So that's how I got into it. Okay, I spent time with the people. I went for corporate sessions, everything. So that's how, you know, that's how I got into Zumba Fitness. And right now my plan is to maybe, you know, <coughs> six a uh, year down the line, I might get into this thing as full time. I might be leaving my job. Okay. So that's how it is. Any questions? Thank you so much for asking questions. You get a chocolate from me. Hello. Good morning, sir. Hi. My name is Birju Kinkar Goswami from Guwahati, Assam. Sir, I just want to, if you don't mind, I yes, just please. want to reverse the statement like journey from a dancer to a HR professional. Hmm. Apart from fitness, how can dance help in uh, means HR professional line? Okay. Apart good from question. fitness. Good, good question. So, not just HR professional, everyone in the world. Okay. You pick Okay, I'll tell you how it can help apart from fitness, okay? Like I only, I just don't do uh, Zumba, like I do Zumba fitness. I also do other dance thing also. So answering to your question, okay? Sit, 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 sit. Well, how it can help an HR professional, right? In what way you're asking, like in uh, I mean, uh, professional way or yes, professional. in general? Yeah, I mean in someone general, as a who person. Someone who loves to dance means, uh, like you said, from YouTube and all, huh. not professional dancers. Huh. So how can dance help them in HR professional? Means uh, I'll uh, tell you. I'll tell you. See, see. First of all, uh, for Zumba, for Zumba fitness, you don't need to be a dancer. First of all, okay. So uh, and everybody can do it. That's why it's called a fitness program, not a dance program. So answering to his question, <coughs> that how it can help a HR professional. It can help everyone. You pick the most serious guy or a girl from this batch or from anywhere, okay, who doesn't like to smile, who doesn't like to, you know, gel up with people, okay, make that person dance and let that person see that person while he's dancing, okay, he's happy, right, so, like, if you're happy, everything is good, okay, so there is no specific thing that in this way it can help, okay? It, dancing is very good, man. It's for fitness. It's for uh, making you de-stress yourself, okay? Like a lot of people in India doesn't have a hobby, okay? They just know to go to a work, 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 and back home and sleep. 
that's how their life have, that's how they continue their life and they have so much of stress go into depression and all a dancer never get into depression okay right yes okay so have i answered up to some extent yeah good morning sir hmm. my name is hushang and i'm from amdavad so has we heard from different uh, speakers that follow a passion and sir we'll has your passion that. we'll come to that okay, next sir. slide is for that only yes we'll talk about that yeah hi Hmm. That's all. So that's what we'll be talking. Good, you people are coming on right direction, man. Did you see my slide before? <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. Passion. So when I say passion, it necessarily not be a art or a performing art. Like if I say I have a passion, it does not mean okay. I have to be a dancer. I have to be a singer. I have to be a painter. I have to be uh, anything. Okay. Like performing arts and arts. it can be anything if i want to start up my own company that's a passion for me okay if i want to work with ngos that's a passion for me okay so i want to ask what's your passion apart from your uh, regular work of course you will be studying and you will be <coughs> getting placed in good companies after some time but then is there anything apart from that please sir i'll come to you one more quickly we are running short of time good morning sir my name is ankita sur i'm from kolkata west bengal and uh, my passion is dancing Great. i'm also a dancer i have started dancing from 3 years of age Great. and i've been into uh, classical dancing basically uh -huh. i do contemporary and all type of dance as i'm from kolkata i know ravindra nitya <coughs> and other than that i know creative dancing so dancing <coughs> is also my passion so sir if i want to join your institute or in some way how will i we'll come back to that we'll okay, come sir. back yeah same photography i i i love photographers because i know how much efforts they put into clicking a picture some uh, yeah you saying something you yes Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Morning, sir. This is Akanksha from Dehradun. Huh. Uh, my passion is um, I love running. Whenever I feel frustrated or something, I go for a yes, long sir. run. But basically, uh, I have uh, participated in national cross country last year. I went for it, so I love running a lot. And yes. uh, sometimes it is. <coughs> like, uh, so get in touch with me. I'll tell you for the big dance, uh, big running groups oh. in Pune. Okay. Thank you, sir. So Thank you, you very much. Them. and you can continue your thing so sing something yeah 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 my passion my passion is also photography and uh, i'm a big foodie i love to uh, taste cuisines contact bali sir he's an expert for that <laughs> <laughs> sure okay morning sir my Hi. name is abhishek joshi i am from indore madhya pradesh hmm. my passion is writing actually i am also writing poems and i am also wow. working for uh, uh, my own novel great great good morning sir i am shruti from dehradun and my passion is i love writing i write poetry uh, talented people sir this batch will bring laurel to the college good Yes. Good morning, sir. My name is Saloni Vaishnav, and uh, my passion is basically dancing, but uh, not in a professional manner. Yeah, I have okay. been doing it since school and college, mm -hmm. and also dramatics. And Great. I would like to one. I would like to say one thing more. Uh, my friend is sitting there, who is just like you, okay, dancer, and he has chosen MBA. I don't know why he's not saying it. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. So by the way, like after like we are planning for a do, for doing a Zumba session with you guys. later on we'll do okay okay so great and yes <coughs> passion if you are passionate about something okay it is not 
necessary that you have to get into it professionally, okay? Like as you were saying that you are not a professional dancer, okay? Passion, the primary purpose is not to earn money. It's to keep yourself happy, right? It is not necessary that, okay, if I am doing photography, I want money only, okay? You c I've seen a lot of people who do not charge. They just do it for, just for their happiness, okay? They feel happy. So again, right? Passion has, it's <coughs> not necessary that you have to get into it. Like, just because I'm giving this one hour lecture of passion and passion, passion, it is not necessary. You can continue with your MBA. It, I continued, and yes, some people say that, you know, why you get into MBA? Since you, your passion is dancing, you have to continue with it. Okay, you can continue. But the thing is, <coughs> if I, would on, I wouldn't have done my MBA, I wouldn't have been so much into my passion, okay? The reason I'm saying, I've seen a lot of traders and all, okay? They're very good with their skills, as I was talking to last week. But when it comes to, you know, talking to people, they cannot do it, right? They cannot interact with people. They cannot explain things. So what is the point of you doing yourself? Okay. So this is how, like, that's what I, I was saying in my mail also, that you will feel a transformation in yourself. Right? Okay, next time when you will be going for your uh, winter vacations or anything to your hometowns, maybe you won't see a change. But when you go there, you'll see the change. Your parents, your friends can see, okay, something is happening with our child. Okay, in a good way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so okay, now we were talking about all the goody 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 things, passion and all. Okay, now let's talk some serious things. Okay, cost of choosing passions. Okay, so are you ready to pay for that? Okay, so like the amount, like for example, okay, the amount of money I'm earning right now. I might not get, I might, I might get, I might not get in my passion, okay? Like it could be possible that I don't get any offers, I do not, I don't get any corporates, classes and everything. So there is something, okay? Like that is the first point, fin finance, okay? Initially you might not get anything, right? So you need to be mentally prepared for it, okay? Second is Indian society, okay? Are you dance karta hai? Unka beta, dekho, US ja hai trip ke liye, business trip ke liye, right? This is a common notion, right? So, are you strong enough to listen to these things from everywhere, from Chacha, Mama, Tao, and everywhere, okay? So you need to think on that. And third, the most important thing, are you good enough? Like if, you, this is for something, if you're planning to take it professionally, right? If you're just doing for uh, fun, it's good. But if, if you want to take it professionally, are you good enough? Like if I, what I, I said that, okay, I am planning to start my things six months or a year later. But why not, why not now? Because right now, all the people are happy with my work. I feel, yes, there are few things I can improve. Okay, so are you good enough? You need to think about it. Because once you get into professional thing, for you, passion will be here. But for people, they need results, right? If you're not taking a good class, you're not teaching people proper techniques, okay? I uh, see, I am mostly talking from dance perspective. You can take it in any way. Like if I want to start my own company, okay, I'm, I want to be entrepreneur. I've seen uh, so many inspiring stories and all. Okay, I'll, I'll open my own business, okay? Forget my job, okay? So I want to start my company. What to do? I don't know. How do I get money? who are venture capitalist, who will fund me for my company. You don't know anything. That's wrong. Only like, I'm not saying that you keep thinking, but then you need to have something in your hand, okay? You need to have some knowledge base so that you get, you can get into this thing professionally. Because once you are into profession, professionally you are into it, you will not be given any mercy because market is ruthless. You go to anything. You talk about restaurants, you talk about institutes, as in uh, dance institutes and all. You talk about photography, you must be knowing it, right? Because every now and then, so many talented people coming in. So to survive in the market, you need to be really good, right? Smile. <laughs> yes, good. So you need to think about these points 
before you get into this thing professionally because i don't want because of my lecture people getting into their passion and then failing miserably it's good it's good to fail but with the preparation if you fail it's okay but just banging into something and i'm like oh my god i don't know what to do this shouldn't happen right okay so this i will quickly cover sir should i show the videos now or uh, later okay i'll i'll show like what i exactly do i'll just show a small video okay so so that you people wake up Thanks. Okay, you are not connected to my machine. Okay. Mm. Okay. Just so the video which you will see, it's not a dance performance. It's a Zumba live class in which we repeat steps. We give cue to people. Okay, so that's how. Don't watch it from a dance perspective. That there are not nice steps. we need to do something which everybody can follow even the non dancers okay so just uh, show this one just a minute you have seen uh, you have heard of hard rock cafe yes sir so we did a, uh, we had a master class like few months back in hyderabad although i have lot of videos which i can always share later but for now because of time constraint i'll just show one video volume we have this tiny baby move with me okay quickly show one more so the steps will be repeated throughout the song so there is no point of you know spending entire 5 minutes uh, this was in hard rock cafe the, uh, the other video which i'll show is uh, from a regular class a studio batch <laughs> So this is, you know, just a kind of small trailer. What what we do? Okay. See, now you can see smile. See, that's what it does to you. Okay. So actually, these are few things which I have experienced over last four years of me working with the, my company. Okay. So I thought, okay, let me share it with you guys. Although it's very common, very basic things. We are not getting into complicated stuff, but still, you know. <coughs> confidence okay first thing because i could see even if anyone is asking a question that's where it starts very basic thing okay it's okay if you are asking a stupid questions answering me in a wrong way okay but 
at least that shows that okay, you have that much of confidence that you're standing in a crowd of 80, 100 people and you're talking, right? So that leaves an impression to me. And the same works everywhere. You go to your work, whenever you join the companies and everything, this will be a very important factor, okay? Like <coughs> even the boss, the big boss needs somebody, you know, who can uh, uh, just make them sure, okay, like I have someone with me who is confident enough, confident enough to take things, right? So that is one key. We have less time, so I'll quickly I'll just tell things, okay? Second. You understood, right? First point. Yeah. So just even if you're doing something wrong, just have confidence in you. That's very important. Situation handling. What does managers do in company? They work? They work? Yeah. Although it's a controversial statement, they do, but not as much as their employees. What they do? Situation handling. When client is sitting on your head, you should see people when they talk on call, if something goes wrong. They literally abuse you in so many languages. Okay? So this is what the managers do, right? Handling situation. Like things are things happen in a, a wrong way many times, okay? Things go wrong. But then nothing can be done. But how you tackle that situation? That's very important, okay? You might just freak out or you will just keep yourself calm and you know take things, you know, handling the things in proper way. Right, so that's my second point. Third, third. So these are again, you know, I'm saying the basic things. Like I'm sure you must be already knowing, but this is what I wanted to focus on. Right, self motivation. How many people have seen everyday video? Okay, we were shown that video in uh, our induction. So, anyways, the point I'm talking about that video is forget it. Other thing is. You must have heard a lot of motivation spe speakers, motivation stories, motivational videos, motivational anything, motivation lectures, including me, right? But this will not work even 1% for you. For some it will, for some it will not. Because you need to mot motivate yourself, okay? Like, okay, I saw a very motivated video. Dude, maza gaya, kya motivation wala video dekha. Chala, I'm tired now, I'll go to sleep. Huh. This will not work. So until unless you are self-motivated, nothing will happen. The world's biggest uh, motivational speaker, including Shiv Khera, Robin Sharma, you must have heard these names, right? Yes. They can come here and talk for five, uh, five hours. And after that, you may end up sleeping. Okay, maybe, maybe. It's not necessary, it might happen. If you are not focused on your things. So just be self-motivated because right now, okay, it's still good because they are all your friends, they will help you. But later on, I say, people <coughs> will behave as friends, but they might not be your actual friends, okay? So you need to keep yourself motivated because people will be there to push you down. You make one mistake, they'll make this blunder for you guys, okay? So be self-motivated. Next. Okay, so it's okay to be imperfect, right? Right? Yes. Okay, good. The reason I'm saying is, everybody is not blessed with skills, with soft skills, with, you know, in general, everybody is not blessed with perfection. Some have to work on it. Some work on it and fail, but that's okay, right? Because if you see my mail, I used to, I was, you know, saying, I used to fumble a, fumble a lot when I was there. I still do it. But that's okay. If I can speak some sense, people you know, don't focus much. Okay, take care. It's okay, right? So it's okay for that. It's okay to be imperfect. Next. Yeah. So it is quite on the same lines. Focus on your thing because, you know, these days internet has got so much of data, okay? Everywhere you will see people giving philosophical speeches and information. In general, you know, people would be talking about different industries, everything, okay, which might not make sense to you, right? So just see what you need to get from there. If you want to, you feel like, you know, I want to know that, I want to learn that, that will not take you anywhere, right? So just focus what you want 
and keep it, you know, your focus need to be right. That's the key point. OK. You can read it, right? You're not a kid anymore. So it's good to be emotional. But then you must be past 20, right? 22, 23 is your uh, minimum age, right? So <coughs> it's OK if you're not able to talk to your family for a day or two, OK? Don't be a cry baby. That's fine. Like I might sound a little rude, but then you know now you have your own identity. Now you are not Sharma ji ka beta ya Varma ji ka bhatija. You are an individual. I am Himanshu, but people know me as Himanshu. But people don't know me who my father is, who my mother is, who my relatives are. Okay. So build your own identity. Okay. Take start taking your own decisions. It could be anything. Okay. Professionally, personally. So. You know, you need to have that maturity level, right? And even here also, like as I said in the beginning, there would be clashes between people. Like the most popular, like North Indians and South Indians, okay? I came, I came with the same mindset. But then, slowly, when you understand, because you know, that is the difference between literacy and education, okay? I have seen people with so many degrees, but they do not have an understanding with a person with different culture. You know, that is what makes the difference between these two. You need to be educated, you need to be mature, okay? That you can handle, you know, different kinds of people. Cool. Yes, Keep smiling, good. You look good. Thanks. Questions? Yes, please. Hello, good evening, sir. My name is Abhishek Mukherjee. I am from Purulia, West Bengal. My question to you is, how do you think that an MBA student can fit himself or herself to be fitted in any organization as a, like a HR? Like? A HR. Like HR, as an HR. HR. How the person can fit himself? Complete or MBA? No, no, uh, I'm coming up. Complete your MBA when you will get your placements. You will, because you know, right now if I say anything, like how you will find yourself, be good enough for a company to work as a professional, right? You might not understand that because you know, I'll be that, I'll be talking and you'll be just listening. So what I'm saying is, over that's what I'm saying that over these two years, okay, you will, sit, sit, sit. You will see a change in yourself, okay? Mark my words. You will be more confident. You will be exposed to, because how many days you have spent? One week in Pune? Right? Yes, sir. Haan. So you will get to know things because there are few things which nobody can answer for you, right? If, like, I do not expect people to ask me questions. HR is better, your marketing is better. But there is no right answer, right? For someone, it's HR is better. For someone, it's marketing is better. Okay, so it's your own perspective. So you know, try to <coughs> build your answer from your own. Okay, you'll get the answer yourself after some time. Okay, maybe after three months, six months, for sure before two years. Okay, so just that's why I said in the last slide, you're not a kid anymore. So there are few things which you need to answer. You need to answer yourself, okay? That what is right for me? People will be there to give you directions in technical aspects. That how marketing needs to be done, how HR work, recruitment, compensation benefits. You will all study all this stuff later on, okay? But in general, you need to decide, okay? Do your research. Google is there. Do your research. Talk to your seniors. Talk to your professors. Okay? So that's how you will get your answer. Cool. Okay, so I'm done. Thank you so much for listening to me. <laughs> All the best. Okay, yours, 911 batch, Shimanchu Bhatt. Thank you. So if you have any question, you can quickly shoot. Yes. And again, I do not promise to answer each and every question. 
but still i try to do it as per my best of my availability uh, good, morning, good morning sir my name is rahul kumar i am from pali rajasthan i have no question sir i say something uh, from me sir uh, uh, i i, I love dancing so much i am not professional dancer but i like dancing so much mm. and uh, i have uh, dancing uh, last uh, one year mm. uh, before before one year i i can't have to dance mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you love. And sir, uh, when I dancing, I uh, I got more more happiness. And sir, uh, from dancing, I got uh, sir more more confident. Got much of confidence in me. You get. You get. I get you more. Get. more sir, uh, because uh, huh. when I dance, I feel very good. Sir. Great, great. So uh, I I say more. Uh, I got a point. Thanks. Sir, I say uh, 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 mo mo most thankful to you, sir, giving me uh, other people to happiness by dance. Right, sir. right, right. Thank you, thank you. I hope it was not a dance lecture instead of a. See, I could have spoken on different things, but this is what I'm best at. Okay, so I just wanted to share my experience. you know over a period of time that how it has transformed me as a person as a professional okay so like you can get into any profession necessarily not be dancing <laughs> okay so i wish you all the best okay thank you so much thank you